Awesome. Shelly Ann Fraser Price sets a massive new world lead over the 100 meters. And Sharika Jackson sets a huge new personal best. Jamaica, 1 2. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your comments after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, when you're ready, yep. Good to go. Jamaica's two massive queens, the world's fastest over the 100 meters this year, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, and the world's second fastest this year over the 100 meters, that is Sharika Jackson, were in top form racing each other over the 100 meters in Europe. The great one, Shelly Ann Fraser Price and Sharika Jackson, both set new records for today. Shelly Ann Fraser Price running a new world leading time of 10.62, with Sharika Jackson setting a new personal record of 10.71, inching towards that 10, sub 10.70 mark. Fraser Price ran 10.62 to win out of running out of lane number five with Sharika Jackson running out of lane number three, winning that remarkable 10.71. And Marie Jose Talou of Africa setting an African record with a time of 10.72 and a new personal record for herself. People, this was a fast race. Aliyah Hobbs of the United States also ran 10.81. Now look at the lineup. TT Terry ran 10.90. Daryl Nita ran 10.91 and Clark run, ran 10.96. Melissa Jefferson did not start. That is how fast this was. This was world caliber sprinting. That may be the fastest 100 meters female race all time. I'm going to do some checking on that. You do the same. Let's see if that's correct. Now, we know that Shelly and Fraser Price has been consistently running 10.67s, but in her last meet, she lowered that time to 10.66 as she edge inches towards that sub 10.60 that we are anticipating from her this year. This 10.66 was the world lead, but she just lowered it significantly to 10.62. Now, the last time both Sharika Jackson and uh, <laughs> Shelly and Fraser Price met was, of course, in the finals in Eugene, Oregon, where we had that Jamaican 1-2-3 sweep. Jackson lowered her personal time, uh, well, to 10.73 three to take that silver medal with of course Shelly and Fraser Price running 10.67 to win. So the race went as we predicted. We stated she would lower her time. We said that she had a distinct advantage over Sharika Jackson. But we also said Jackson would get closer to that 10.70 or actually run 10.70. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. It is evident that Shelly and Fraser Price may be in the best shape of her entire 
sprinting career at age 35 and she is edging ever so closely towards what she had told us she said she intends to run at sub 10.60 this season now just running 10.62 she's just 0.02 away from that 10.60 which by the way is her lifetime best we anticipate the, the form that she is in that she should easily run a sub 10.60 0.60 and maybe running closer to that 10.54 that the great Elaine Thompson Hera set in Eugene last year at the Prefontaine Classic. Fraser Price seemingly is unbeatable, but we must also commend uh, Sharika Jackson. Jackson has consistently improved her times since the the outdoor 100 meter season has started. Uh, to improve from a 10.77 at the national championships to run a 10.73 um, in Oregon and now to run a 10.71 uh, is a phenomenal improvement in her PB and must be commended. She is going to run a sub 10.70 as we had predicted this year should she remain healthy. But we have to also state that Marie Jose Talou should be commended, that African record, area record, and personal record of 10.72 is a huge time. And as we stated earlier in the video, all the ladies in this race, literally all, ran sub 11 seconds. I, I really don't think that has ever happened in any race before. I'm, which, I'm gonna really go and check and see, but it's unlikely if it has happened maybe once or twice before in history but that's a fast fast race and the funny thing is it didn't look that fast to me um now what was important to me was that uh jackson closed in that last uh five to ten meters on fraser price and once jackson improves that start i mean she has a good start now but if she gets an even better start she will truly be a threat to this young lady but at this point people i think shelly and fraser price for this season is quite simply unbeaten she's unbeatable she can't be beaten and uh, as we stated she we have been correct so far just crunching the numbers not because we're special or anything it's just the numbers people and she has been consistently lowering that time so 10.62 new world lead that's huge people and there are several more meets to go she will run a sub 10.60 how fast she'll go below that we have no idea but she seems to be in the shape of her life and must be commended again big up to sharika jackson the superwoman uh massive massive new personal best sharika and of course big up to marie jose talou and all the ladies who ran in this people everyone ran sub 11 seconds in this 100 meter i mean every woman here ran sub 11 seconds that's insane that's insane i mean who could tell that we would live to see a time when a marie jose talu runs a 10.72 and doesn't win this is insane well um i think greater things are to come so congratulations new world lead to the great shelly and fraser prize 10.62 new personal record to sharika jackson 10.7 one and new african record area record and personal record to the great marie jose talu um 10.72 and i think the fastest 100 meters ever ran i'm going to do double crunch the numbers and look but it seems to me if not it must be one of the fastest because every woman in this race ran a sub 11 seconds and that's insanely fast people insanely fast but this of course is just my two cents now don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and hit the like button if you enjoy the video now please leave your comments let me know your thoughts remember you are royals greatness personified kings and queens bless up